Hi everyone, it's Alex with you again. I would like to tell you today about uh, one of my first, or actually my first photo book that I received from um, a friend of mine as a present, um, Julia. Hi Julia, if you're watching. So this book is uh, Araki and it's called Self, Life and Death. And for those of you who don't know, Araki is a Japanese photographer and today is his birthday. 80 years old, so happy birthday, Araki. Um, and this particular book is um, some kind of a mixture of some of his projects, because during his lifetime, uh, Araki actually did, um, I think he published around 500 books or something like this, yeah, quite a lot. He did thousands of different projects and uh, he changed a lot of different models. And uh, yeah, he's constantly shooting. And even now, and uh, when he's 80 years old, he uses uh, different cameras, Polaroid and point and shoot and digital and analog camera. So he uses everything that can help him to uh, communicate a particular idea of a project. Uh, so he never actually stopped shooting. He constantly shoots. And I think in a way, uh, this is a continuation of his eye. Marshall McLuhan here. And... Um, I really like this particular book. I cannot uh, really show you because it's so huge. So if I start opening the images, I think I would mess everything up. But you can see here is a mixture of some documentary images and also some, um, let me see, there are a lot of images that I cannot really show you guys. I'm not plus 18, but as you see, also yep and also there is some of his erotic work that maybe i should skip for this video um but uh what we know about araki is that no matter what project he did in his life he always mixing um uh, the two concepts of eros and thanatos so he always talks about sex and death. Uh, and in a way, he talks about this circle of life that is really important to him. And personally, studying his work, I realized that he really opened up um, in his projects, that his project really became deep after he lost his wife, Yoko Aoki. She died quite um, as a quite young woman um, because of ovarian cancer unfortunately he actually documented the project of her death uh, it's called a winter journey and he also portrayed her, their honeymoon which called sentimental journey it's also in this book and it's really really beautiful so we can see um that araki it's not only this a photographer slash pornographer that we all know that is really into bondage he's also into something very deep, some, something very sentimental. Um, also, one of the projects that are here um, that I showed you briefly, and it's called Flowers. It's actually not just about flowers. It's about flowers that um, are used for funeral reasons. So they're kind of um, uh, a flowers that have a stamp of death on them not regular flowers that you buy from farmers markets or regular flower shops no those are special flowers used for, for um death rituals so araki uses these flowers to portray sex every flower that he portrays uh, reminds us of different erotic parts of our body and what else do we know about araki is that he really loved his cat chiro and uh, he also portrayed the cat in uh, one of, um, not only in one of the projects, but uh, the most famous one is the Winter Journey. It's actually about, um, uh, about the death of his wife, the last winter of her life. And then we see Chira here looking lonely into the winter landscape. And we have some other portraits of Chira as well. It's funny that in this book, we have a lot of pictures of Chiro, and suddenly after Chiro, we have Araki holding a lizard. This probably was his new pet after Chiro died. You never know. So you see here, 
once again, uh, an empty bed of his wife and Chira is laying there. So guys, this is it for today. I hope you had um, some short insight about Araki's work. Definitely uh, check his work more um, everywhere you can find it. As I told you, there are 500 different books of Araki that you can easily find everywhere. There is another book that I could recommend, the one that I don't have here uh, today in my home, but uh, it's available at Artie Books. It's called Marvelous Tales of Black Ink. And it's about this uh, Japanese uh, bondage art, King Baku. And it's all about uh, girls hanging from ceilings and being tied up and pregnant women and a lot of nudity. And yeah, for people who are interested, I can definitely recommend this book. Why it's called uh, Marvelous Tales of Black Ink. The images originally were painted by Araki with uh, this different, with the ink and different Japanese symbols. So um, you see some models being bondaged and some parts uh, are hidden with the black ink. It's really, really nice book for, for the fans of Araki. Let's enjoy Araki's birthday together. And what I can wish him, uh, I can wish him to continue being a great photographer, a great master, and of course, continuing being a great pervert. Happy birthday, Araki.